Hello everybody, I'm so happy today that we make ragu di carne. The ingredient we got, let's start with a nice basil. This is so beautiful. We got a sauce, this is omega sauce. We got an onion, a chop already. We got a wine, flake hot the pepper. And I use a lot of garlic, a chop. We got hot Italian sausage. We got a neck lamb. We got a beef and we got a pancetta. Pancetta, it's the belly pork. And we got everything over here. I was wash really good, dry, and I put salt and black pepper. Okay, we put the gas on to warm up nice the pots, and we start with the oil. And this is really good oil. Look at the color of this oil, so good. Okay, we warm up really good. Okay, now we start with the meat. This is the pork belly. And we put it right over here like this. And you can see this one, it's the lamb neck. And I want to make a beautiful color, everything. This, this is the beef. This is the lamb. This is the ragu we was make for on Sunday in my city or Sarah. And when we was make this, it's my mother. I was a small boy and my mother, she was make this. And one of the people pass for the street, because the street, it's no big street, it's a small. And it was a, the people, it was a say, Vicenz, che fai oggi? And my mother, she said, Fazzo ragù, ragù. She said, everybody said, boy, it smells so good. And my mother, she said, hey, what do you think? When I make the ragu, I make everything right. My mother, she was a good cook. She was a make a really, really good stuff. Okay, now we live a state like this. And one time, it got a beautiful color. And you gotta go the onion and the garlic inside and mix it together. Now, the sausage, I no put it out of way. And I put one hour before the ragu it be ready. Okay, now it's like three minutes. This on one side. Now we gotta turn on the other side. It's really nice. Look at this. You see? And look at that. Look how beautiful it looks. Look at the color now. Okay, now I did both sides. And now what I do? I do like this. I mix everything like that. And now it's time I want to put the onion I like to put the garlic and I like to put my flake hot pepper and now we gotta caramelize really good the garlic and the onion mix it all together got now the meat you gotta take the taste with the garlic and the onion and the flake of hot pepper. And look how beautiful it look already. Underneath it's good, they got this patsy no stick. It's really good. They got the patsy start to stick, you burn everything, no good. Okay, now it's ready for the wine, but already the smell is so good. Now, with the wine, hey. Now I want to smell, look at it. So good boy. This ragu, you gotta come really, really like uh, I was my mother, she was making orsara. Orsara di Puglia, Foggia, 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 Orsara. Okay, now it's the time of the, my own make sauce. This sauce, when I make every year, outside it cook like a three to four hours. It look how beautiful this is sauce now. <laughs> it's one, and now we gotta cover all the meat. Two. Let's see. 
Maybe I got an off for three. A three. Now we make a nice turn and we see the meat. So the sauce you got an off. You know why? It's okay. I can make a little bit more. If the sauce it never go bad. It can, before it go bad, this, there's no worry about. It's already done. Now, I show this, I make my automated sauce. But so you don't make, it's okay. You can go any kind of the store and you buy any kind of the sauce you like. A lot of time when I don't use my sauce, I use muti. It's really good sauce. I like to pour a little black pepper. Okay. Yeah, I like to pour a little salt. Not too much salt. You got the meat that's salty already. And my sauce, it's salty already. And we use like a half a teaspoon. And we give a nice turn. And this. Now you got to cook for two hours. But when it start to boil, make sure the low the gas, you got to be a lot. Okay, now the ragu was boiled for two hours. And now I want to put inside the sausage. And the sausage you got to cook for one hour. And we put it right inside like this. I got four pieces. Gets one for me, one for my wife, one for my son, and one for the girlfriend of my son. And look how beautiful this is sausage. And we leave a boil now for one hour. And now it's a time I like to pour the basil. Now the basil, I'm not chop with a knife, but I like to pour leaves. It smells so good. That was wash, and we pour like this. Okay, look at that. The leaves, and I got like this. And I give a now, after I put the leaves inside like that, we give a nice push down the leaves. Cause the, basically it give a really good taste. Okay. Okay, now the water boil are salt already. I want to make the ragu together with the orecchiette. And we cook the orecchiette. Good. It take like 10 to 11 a minute. At the time this it's ready, the ragu it's ready with the sausage and all the rest of the meat. Okay, now the orecchiette is ready. Turn the gas off. And I want to drain this orecchiette. Irecchiatella. Okay. Now what I do? I put it back on the same parts. Make sure to drain the water good. This is the water of Esumi, it's called Ayot. Ayot. Okay. And we bring it back on the stove. Now I pick it up the ragu. And I put it right over here in the orecchiette. Now we give a nice turn a orecchiette over here with the ragu. Now I want to make the dish for me. Look how beautiful this orecchiette with the my ragu. I put a little on the top. And now I want to pick it up one piece. Any kind of the piece. Oh, look how beautiful. And we put it right over here. Okay, now we need the cheese. The cheese, it's really good, for, especially with this, the orecchiette, everything. Look how beautiful. All right. And now we taste my orecchiette. It's ragu.
Watch about what it's at. Hmm. It was a little Maya Oye baby. Hmm. It's <clears throat> it's really spice. Hmm. No. Oh, look at the meat. A nice, it's a cook, really, really good. Look at that. Mm. It melts in your mouth, the meat. It was a nice glass of wine. Oh, chin chin, salad to everybody. Really, really good. Ah, mamma mia, quando facevo un ravo. Madonna, ci scaffava dentro, tutte cose, ci metteva dentro pure un cucci, un cucci o un coniglio. My son, he come over here. Ehi, ma va, ma scaffano un po' di pasta, voglio mangiare i maccaroni con il ravo. Eh? Eh? Metto il cucci. <laughs> un ravo, facciamo un ravo che ricchiatella e ci ha scaffato un sausicchi. A panda, a trip do pork, a pecora, a pecora l'agnello, ma io penso che noi chiamiamo a pecora, a pecora l'agnello, agnello piccinino o a pecora rossa. <ride>